Hello guys, welcome to the next uh, Mario tutorial. Um, today we are going to be carrying on um, and we're going to be making Mario go super. So yeah, that should be good. So you want to open your sprite sheet because we need to get the super sprites things, people's thing. Yeah, from GIMP. <laughs> and um, right, so you want to zoom in, zoom in. If you've got a mouse, you can just hold control and do the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel, um, and yeah, you just want to zoom into the top, and you'll see we've got some Mario sprites here. And um, you want to get, you want to get this one here. Um, actually, go over to this one and just make it like that. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, we'll just go to the bottom like that, and um, you'll see down here the size is 32 by 58. Um, actually, we can probably have it a bit. Yeah, just move it down like that, and make sure it's all nicely sized. And um, so it's f 53 by 32. It should be, I think. Um, let's just make sure you you're gonna want to get the um this this sprite here um oh wait no it needs okay it, yeah it need its size needs to be 32 by 54 I think um it's quite tedious this then yeah okay right so get your first sprite um make sure it's roughly in the middle and just do control C and create from clipboard and I've, I've learned you don't really need to get do the transparency and stuff because um, scratch keep doesn't support transparency anyway so yeah you have to take it out manually in scratch and I'm just gonna call it um, I'm just gonna call it super m1.png because this is the first Mario sprite and he's super so yeah and just save it and do it for the next one and save that one and just call this super m2.png and save that and and then we'll name this one uh, super m jump so do control C, remember to use control C, it's quite important. It's very important. <laughs> and um super m jump dot png. And yeah, there we go. Okay. So you want to come out of GIMP and um yeah, you should have your Super M1, Super M2 and Super M Jump. So it's going to scratch and um, oh wait I will just show you what we're going to be covering and um, we're going to make Mario Super so um, yeah he'll go like that. That's what we're going to be making. And um, also I, I don't really know how to fix this problem I don't know if you guys are having it but it's like sinking into the floor and I don't really know how to sort it out but um, and the other problem is that once he becomes super he sort of goes into the item block because if you see our sensors our sensors aren't moving up to you know change height um, but we'll sort that out in the next tutorial um, so yeah go into your scratch project and you want to import the costumes for your Mario sprite and I'll just find the folder okay so once you've found your uh, folder um, import Super Mario 1 um, Super Mario 2 and Super M Jump Super Mario Jump okay and then you just want to take out the white background um, so just yeah fill in the areas where there is white. You can look on here to make sure you've got rid of all the white because um, it's quite hard to see in here. It's a bit annoying but still. Um, yeah you've got to be quite careful in this one. There's a few white bits. I think there's a bit there. 
just look over here make sure you've got all the white bits away and the last one and just fill it in with this transparent color basically that's what it is uh, it's a bit there isn't there and a bit there and a bit there and a bit there and there's a little white spot there and there this is quite tedious but still um, get your mm, still a little bit there sorry I will be done in a second right there we go it's gone now okay um, so what we're going to want to do is go into our item, our item, or how you want to do this the same for how many mushrooms you've got. But actually, um, we kind of want to set it so that mushrooms don't appear if Mario's super. But we'll get to that in the next tutorial because running rapidly out of time already. Um, so yeah, you want to bring in a new script and just do forever, and then get an if statement and um, get a and operator because we're actually going to want to test um, and get an equals one as well and just do that one and get your movable which you should know from last tutorial is basically whether whether or not the mushroom is moving so yeah it is so we, we have to make sure that it's moving because we don't want it to you know sort of trigger a touch event when it's inside the item box and stuff like that so yeah um, and then obviously you want your touching touching Mario like that okay and I'm just gonna clean that up and um, yeah so as soon as that happens we're gonna want to hide the mushroom and we're gonna want to create a new variable actually called um, super and make it for all sprites because we it'd be quite useful for all sprites to see whether Mario Mario is super or not. So yeah, and um, you want to set a super to one, and then uh, basically I think we're going to do a broadcast um, just before that. Do a new one and just call it super again, and yeah, that will just mean that we can react to it in the Mario sprite and so and in in this bit where you're doing your costumes so at the moment actually I'll just show you this um, when we touch the item it just goes away and now we just need to change the Mario sprites so um, you see here we've got a big script with our handling our costumes and basically what you're going to want to do is get an if and an else statement and get an operator and just say if um, if the super variable equals one remember and also hang on we're just going to want to at the start set super to zero because we want to start him small we don't want him to start big if you see what I mean and um, and so if super equals one, i.e. he's like super basically, um, then we're gonna actually just duplicate this whole thing, get the get um, yeah get from if on ground down to there, um, and just put that inside there, and that will start to look a bit complicated. But then basically you're just gonna want to change all these to the corresponding m jump. So instead of m jump, it'll be super m jump. Instead of m two it will be um, super M2 and also in this costume bit we're going to want to change it if you see here this is costume 4 um, so we're basically testing if if the costume equals 4 so like it's super M1 um, then we want to switch to super M2 or if it's super N2 we're going to want to switch to super M1 so that'll get that's for the you know when he's running walking or whatever and then basically when he's idle we just want him to do super m1 so put that into this forever loop and then just clean that up and in the else part you want to put your um that bit 
So that will look quite complicated, but I think you know, hopefully you know how it works. So yeah, um, yeah, so he's super now. Now there's one last problem we need to handle, which is basically this. He's now like halfway into the floor, so um, we need to move him up a bit when he gets super. So if you remember in here, we set up a um, broadcast. So we can react to that broadcast in this. So we can go control and um, when I receive uh, super, um, we can just move him up slightly. So um, you wanna do change X by a certain amount. Now um, this might, if you've got different sprites, this will be different. But if you see in here, we've got the Y size. So this is 54 pixels in height. And if you see here, these ones are like 32 basically. Just just get the biggest value. To, if, you, if you've got smaller values, just get the biggest value. And um, so you want to do 54 minus 32 because that will work out the difference. And then we can work out how much we need to move them up by. So um, 54 minus 32 is 22. Um, so yeah. And um, so we're going to want to change his is Y even, um, changes Y by 22. So that will, yeah, that will move him up 22, 22 pixels. So um, when we get our mushroom, he's gonna, yeah, go back to normal. And that is what we want. Um, so yeah, that is, that is about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe next tutorial we'll like add in sounds and make sure this top sensor moves up as well and stuff like that um but i hope you enjoyed i'm trying to keep these tutorials short so you don't get bored and stuff so yeah and so go away and have fun with that so i'll see you next tutorial bye